Then if you look at your uh, wrist, um, these little rows of bones right here, these are known as your carpal bones, and we're not going to name these. Um, you just need to know that they're um, just these little irregular bones in kind of two sets of rows here. Short bones. They're short bones, um, but they are um, your wrist bones. So don't confuse this and think these are all fingers. A lot of people think, oh, that's your hand and these are your fingers. It goes like this, where these are actually your wrist bones up in here, and then these bones right here make up the bones of your hands. Okay, and then these would be your phalanges or fingers, and we'll talk about all these. So let's start with the wrist bones right here, these little short bones, those are called carpals, and then the bones of your hands are called metacarpals. And you name the metacarpals by a numbering system. If you go to Europe and you ask for one of something, you don't go, I want one, you know, latte. You go, I want one, and they use their thumb. And the Europeans are actually anatomically correct because the thumb is going to be number one. So this is number one, two, three, four, and five on your metacarpals. Okay. If you're not sure if this is a right or left hand, you can always find the thumb. And the way you can find the thumb is go, it's only got two phalanges on it. Every other finger has three phalanges, and so the thumb only has two. So that tells you you're looking at your thumb, so that gets you into the uh, right position there. But anyway, the thumb is going to be number one, then two, three, four, and five for your metacarpals. So if you number your phalanges the same way, each segment is a, phalan a phalanx. One is a phalanx, several of them are phalanges. Okay, so if I ask you to number this bone right here, that would be the number one, two, three, fourth, and we're on the right hand here, so this would be the right, fourth, middle phalanx, because this is your finger right there, from there to there. You've got a proximal, middle, and distal phalanx. Proximal, middle, and distal phalanx on all of these fingers, but your thumb only has a proximal and a distal phalanx. So you can name them by that. So let's, let's just do this one right here. This is going to be your left, second, distal phalanx. Okay? You just said it was a right hand. Which one is it? Right. It's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. Okay. Right? <laughs> right. I'm looking at it backwards. Yeah. I can't tell. Okay. It's right. <laughs> That's why we have two, two people making these videos. So you have your right, second, distal phalanx. Okay, so hopefully you've got the numbering system there. Now your thumb has a special name here. Your thumb is called the pollux. Your big toe is called the hallux, but that's the only other bones that we're going to actually name in the hand. And that covers the upper part of your appendages.